guys, it's Kale. Uh, so today I wanted to make a video for you guys um, answering some of your questions that you've been asking about the exam. Um, just because I know the exam period's coming up now, a lot of you guys are probably getting very anxious, so hopefully I can answer some of your questions and you can, you know, kind of alleviate a little bit of that stress. Um, just for people who are new to my channel, my name is Kale. Um, I just graduated back in August and then I passed my exam. I wrote in the September time frame and uh, I found out in October. Um, I am currently working at a urgent care clinic and I am also working in a emergency department. Uh, both of those, well, the eMERGE is casual and then the urgent care clinic is part-time. So I'm just looking for something more full-time and um, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, once I find something that interests me. Anyways, so um, today I'm going to answer some of the questions. I just uh, wrote them down on my computer um, just so I can refer to them. So the first question is what is the passing grade for the exam? Now there's no said passing grade. Um, what my teachers always told me when I was in nursing school was that if you got 70% or higher on your practice exam or your mock exam, um, that was a good indicator that uh, you were going to be successful in the exam. Um, but what I believe they do is that they wait for everybody to write the exam in that said time period and then they see what the average is and then they base it off of that. Um, I, so yeah, you'll never know what your mark is. Um, they just do pass or fail. So I hope that answered that. How long will it take to get my results? Um, so they say usually six weeks. I wrote mine in September, I think September 15th, and then I got mine like October 13th or something like that. So it was about a month for mine. Same with my friends that wrote the same time period as me. Um, but yeah, they say maximum six weeks. Are there any select all that apply questions? No, there's none. Um, on that exam. Um, they are all multiple choice, thank goodness. Uh, do you ever get to see your mark? No, you do not get to see your mark. You'll just see if you pass or fail and then I believe the CNO will um, release the results of like the average of each school and across the board what the average was, things like that, if that interests you, but you'll never get to know your individual mark. It'll just tell you if you passed or failed the exam. Uh, can you go back and forth on questions? Yes, you can and that's what um, I loved about the exam was that you can even like flag questions if you want to come back to them so you can go back and forth. Um, unlike, I don't know if you guys did like online schooling and stuff like that, but for my online schooling when our tests were online, we could only do one question at a time and then once you go forward, you can't go back. So. I uh, really utilized going back and forth and the flagging feature, which was awesome um, because I felt like, you know, if I needed to review something, it's always the option there. Uh, can you bring anything in with you to the exam? No, you cannot. Uh, for my exam, we weren't allowed to bring anything. You're not allowed, even like a water bottle, they won't allow you to. They had uh, lockers that you could put your stuff in and then your phone and all that. They do provide you with a whiteboard and a dry erase marker so you can, you know, if you're doing your medication uh, dosage calculations, you can write it down or you can write down whatever you want really. Um, and then on the computer they have a calculator on there. So you can't bring anything in with you but they do provide you with some resources that you can use during your exam. What do I need to know for the exam? Um, that's a very broad question, but you have to remember that the exam is testing you on entry to practice competencies for the exam for a new nurse or an RPN. Uh, so you just have to know the basics. So, you know, you're going to want to go over your fundamentals for sure because that's the foundation of the exam. And my best advice would be, you know, to go over your medical terminology and your diseases. So... Um, for me, my biggest struggle on the exam was not knowing what a term meant or not knowing what a disease was because they give you case studies, right? So you're going to want to know what everything means in order to uh, answer the questions. So I would go over those so that, you know, you know what they mean when it comes up in the exam because it will. <laughs> um, okay, two more questions. 
how long do you have to write the exam? Uh, so you get four hours, I believe. Yeah, four hours. I think it's 165 to 175 questions. Um, you get four hours. Um, four hours is plenty of time. I, I think I wrote mine in half that. I think I took two hours or two and a half. Um, yeah, so you get lots of time. So don't, don't be stressed about time because, you know, you, you do get lots of time to answer those questions. Okay, last question is how do you find your results of the exam? So uh, you'll get an email from the CNO saying that you have a message on your account. I think it says something like that or on message center. And then you're gonna log into your account and then you'll go to your inbox and it will tell you that you have an email. When you click on the email, it's gonna tell you if you passed or failed. So CNO will never release your results by emailing you like your private email. They'll never call you text you, mail anything to you, it's just through their website um, and then you will get an email saying that you have a message. So yeah, I hope I relieved some of that anxiety for you guys and I cleared some things up. Um, like I said, if you guys do have any questions, please leave them down below. I love answering your questions and helping others. So um, yeah, so if you guys have anything to add or you want to you know comment anything uh feel free to do so please subscribe if you guys like my videos and like this video if it was helpful to you and um yeah i'll keep you guys updated if you guys are interested on what's going on with my nursing career and things like that so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video